Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your comments asking me to post some information about self-employment income. After working as an employee for the past 10 years, I decided to quit my job to try something new. It was a difficult decision to step out of my comfort zone, but I'm happy that I can follow my passion and continue to take on new challenges. I'm now self-employed, doing contract work and also building this YouTube channel. A business is an activity that you intend to carry on for profit, and there is evidence to support this intention. There are a few different ways of organizing a business. So proprietorship, corporation, partnership, and joint venture. Self-employment income may be earned from a business you operate as a sole proprietorship or with someone else as a partnership. The focus of this video series is sole proprietorship. You may have self-employment income from a business, a profession, commission, farming, or fishing. Self-employment income is reported on your personal income tax and benefit return. You must start reporting your income and can start deducting your expenses when your business starts. Generally, the CRA considers your business to have started whenever you begin some significant activity that is a regular part of your business or that is necessary to get your business going. Self-employment income must be reported based on a fiscal period. A fiscal period cannot be longer than 12 months. However, it can be shorter than 12 months, such as during the year when a new business starts or when a business ends. Self-employed individuals generally have to use a December 31st year-end. If you are an eligible individual, you may be able to submit a request to the CRA to use a different year-end. The CRA reviews the request on a case-by-case -case basis. You can use Form T2125, Statement of Business or professional activities to report your business and professional income and expenses. The information is then reported on your federal income tax and benefit return. Your tax payable will be based on your taxable income and federal and provincial personal tax rates. This is different from business income earned by a corporation, which is included in the T2 Corporation Income Tax Return. The tax return filing deadline for individuals with self-employment income and spouse or common law partner of self-employed individuals is June 15. However, if you have any taxes payable, you have to pay your taxes before April 30th to avoid interest charges. There are two factors to consider when determining if you have to pay tax by installments. Your province or territory of residence and your net tax owing. You have to pay tax installments for 2021 if both of the following criteria apply. First, your net tax owing for 2021 will be above 1800 if your province of residence is Quebec or $3,000 for any other province or territory. Second, your net tax owing in either 2020 or 2019 was above 1800 if your province of residence is Quebec or 3000 in any other province or territory. In addition to income taxes, 
you must pay both the employer and employee portions of CPP contributions when you file your income tax and benefit return. However, you do not have to pay EI premiums unless you opt into the EI program. Okay, that's it for part one, a high level overview of how income taxes work for self-employed individuals. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. For the future videos, we'll get into the details of self-employment income and expenses. Thank you so much for watching.